Your clothing will provide you with an immediate means to retain body heat. The type of clothing you choose can help or hinder your attempt to insulate. The insulative quality of any material is dependent on the amount of trapped air in the material. An important fact to keep in mind is that when most clothing becomes wet, it loses its insulative quality. Wet clothing in the wind will draw off body heat 20 times faster than wind alone. It is also important to keep your clothing clean. As dirt fills in between the fibers of a fabric, it also fills in the dead airspace that gives clothing its insulative quality. A checklist that survivors can utilize to ensure insulative effectiveness is known as the colder principle. C. Keep clothing clean. O. Avoid overheating. L. Wear clothing loose and in layers. D. Keep clothing dry. E. Evaluate the need for additional clothing. R. Keep clothing in good repair. One of the best natural insulative materials is wool. Wool will insulate even when it becomes wet. A general rule for dressing in a cold land is to wear a layer of cotton next to the skin to absorb and retain moisture, followed by a layer of wool with a water-resistant material on top. When dressing for a cold land environment, dress in layers. Wear proper clothing to keep you warm during the coldest times of the day when there may be little activity. If the outside temperature rises or the body temperature rises due to a high level of activity, the survivor can peel off layers of clothing as needed to regulate the heat loss. It is a good idea to get in the habit of dressing with four layers of clothing. Layer 1. The first layer consists of undergarments such as underwear and socks. Second layer. The second layer consists of shirts, pants, boots, hats, and glove liners. Wool is the preferred fabric for the pants. Cotton and denim should be avoided due to their poor insulative quality when wet. Boots should be fitted properly. In colder regions, boots should be fitted to allow for a pair of polypropylene socks plus one or two pairs of heavy wool socks. Hats should have the capability of covering the ears as well as the head. The best materials for hats are wool, polypropylene, or acrylic. Polypropylene is also a good material for glove liners. Third layer. The third layer consists of a parka, wind pants or warm-up pants, and mittens or gloves. The parka jacket should be made of windproof and water-resistant material. It should also have a hood with a drawstring to minimize the opening to the face. A Dacron or Gore-Tex shell and down or Thinsulate insulation are materials that will work well for the parka. Mittens will tend to keep your hands warmer than gloves, but you will lose dexterity of the fingers. Fourth layer. The fourth layer can consist of quilted pants or overboots. By wearing proper clothing, you have taken the first step in providing shelter for yourself.